Hello, welcome to this next Marvelous Designer tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a little bit different, a little bit quicker I think, uh, because we're going to make a pillow and we're going to make a nice wrinkly pillow, which is uh, really uh, the point. Um, so just to start off then, I'm going to get to the rectangle tool and just left click into the viewport and I'm going to accept this 500 by 500. And then I'm going to right click on that in the 2D view, not the 3D view. Uh, with the transform tool selected and I'm going to copy and whoops mirror paste I don't have to have that selected I don't know why I selected that so I'm going to paste it exactly on the original and then just move it to one side and that basically just puts it in the right place in um, in the 3d space so if I click on this now and move it you'll see that that is exactly in the right place so now I'm in uh, the single um, polygon mode and uh, no thickness etc and you'll notice that one side is darker than the other and that's the normal side or the non uh, the back facing normal and it's that's important in this situation because we can use pressure to inflate this pillow and the pressure applies to the darker face so we need to make sure that they are facing each other otherwise the pressure will blow or push in the same direction and it won't work at all so let's do that okay so let's quickly sew this up um, we can use the segment so uh, so it should be that one to that one and then that one to that one and then top and bottom Oops, not top and bottom. What am I doing? I think I've gone insane. Uh, let's undo. Sorry, top. <laughs> I did those the wrong way around. There we go. Top and bottom. There we go. Now, if I just grab both of these, I want these to kind of lay flat on the floor or at least be parallel to the floor. I'm going to drop that down near the bottom. Uh, near the ground plane and that will help uh, when we put the pressure on so as you can see when I sim it it just basically turns into a kind of flat thing and if we go to if we select both of our patterns and then go to pressure uh, we can start inflating it so if I start at two you'll see it sort of gradually inflates and you get this kind of uh, very flat pillow as it were if you want that to be a little bit more plump uh, you can just increase that number let's go for four and there we go we have a pillow uh, it's not perfect it's got some things that I want to uh, deal with first of all is these very straight corners uh, they have a tendency to cause a little bit of a problem so I like to round those off so let me press space to stop the sim and then we'll use the smooth curve tool and just smooth these curves off now I want to do these quite precisely so I'm going to right click there and I'm just going to type 50 into both of these uh, line numbers and then click OK whoops so it's left click drag and then right click and then you enter the numbers it it's a bit boring bit this bit <laughs> I perhaps should have done this first before I uh, you know copied the panel but you know you live and you learn let's let that sew up there we go okay so I mean that's an okay pillow uh, if that's what you want um, you know that's good enough um, but what I want to do is to make this more wrinkly I want to have more wrinkles on my side and the pressure is pampering that a little bit in that it's stretching the fabric and it's you know um, not letting me or not letting the, the folds form so in the next little section what we're going to do is add to this 
to get those wrinkles in. So I'll talk to you then. Okay then, so what we want to do is increase the amount of wrinkles and for that we need another set of these. So if I select these and copy and paste them, if I copy and paste and just paste them over the top of the original, they'll be in exactly the right place. There we go. And I'm just going to set the layer of this to one and then move them just up a little. So one of these I need to sew to the inner shell. So we'll do that. If we use the um, do, 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 free sewing tool, so I'll start there and go round back to the beginning and then I'll do exactly the same on the original pattern piece. There we go. Now this should all then stick together and if I press space hopefully it won't explode. It doesn't. Excellent. So what I've got now is just two things that are you know sewn together. So if I turn my sim off for a second now what we know is to to make wrinkles you know to make kind of folds in fabric your line lengths where you're sewing together need to be different and rather than just scale this I'm going to get a little extra control by using the ship uh, shifting the uh, <laughs> shrinkage wharf and shrinkage weft so if I start this out at say 110 it will make both 110% of their original size and now when I sim you'll see it goes a bit puffy and starts to wrinkle a little bit more now that might be a little too much so let's perhaps take it down to 107 you know depending upon the look you want just experiment you know you'll get there in the end let me set that sim running again yep that's okay it's going to press space to stop the sim there now we're only going to get from this resolution so many wrinkles and the wrinkles are going to be limited to size because of the size of the polygons we have you know the polygons are a particular size they're almost 20 millimeters you know on a side um, so to get better resolution what we can do is reduce our particle distance so if I select the top two set that to 10 I don't have to do it for the bottom two of course because nobody's going to see those um, and then we'll run the sim again with the space bar and now we're getting really lovely um, you know, creases around the edges there now I mentioned that you know, the pressure was causing us an issue um, and the pressure is now basically keeping a space between our two uh, pillows, our inner pillow and our outer pillow but that doesn't mean that I can't adjust this so if I take that down to 2 see we still get the wrinkles but it's not quite as puffed up you know that 4 value is quite high um, and it's helping us underneath because you know we're not going to see it we can't see it so you know it's just forming us a, like a shape but the outer pressure you know we can do something with if I take the outer pressure down to zero it might be a little too much yeah now it's just kind of <laughs> a little bit uh, uh, a little bit nondescript so I do need some pressure uh, but perhaps not as much as I have underneath uh, but it's up to you I mean you can go more pressure if you want you know to make it really really plump let's pop it back to four because I think I had a nice result then there we go okay so um, that is essentially making a pillow with some nice extra wrinkles and you know you can experiment of course you know try a few things see what comes to mind um, just to note though when I export this I'm only going to export the top two 
uh, there's no need to export the the bottom two because essentially nobody's ever going to see it. it's just wasted geometry so ignore these two don't delete them from sim because you know they're helping uh, but when you export just select these top two and then do file um, export obj selected okay so uh, that's that essentially i hope you found that useful i hope you found it interesting um, if you have any questions let me know and i'll talk to you soon